Um, what this video is going to be about today is uh, shift scheduling with the Dodge Automatic Transmission. Um, this is a lot, of a lot of information out there being shared on how to tune these cars in general, um, let alone even an explanation on how to do it. So what I'm going to do is go through and start making videos one by one of how each area works and try to explain it better so that way when people are tuning these on their own they know what they're doing and they don't have to rely um on some guy on the other side of the country to tune their cars for them um so we're going to get into that um but today it's going to be shift scheduling and kind of explain how to um i guess set it up so that your car can go to a higher rpm uh what you'll notice is that if you are a GM tuning guy, you go in, you change your uh, your RPM cutoff, your RPM max limits. You know, you set the RPM, and, and that's where it goes. Um, and then you go into automatic shift pattern, and you just change the RPMs of the shifts and whatnot, and the car does it. Well, on this, if you go through and you um, change the RPM limits and things like that, um, without touching the transmission, nothing will happen. Uh, you'll hit the max of 6,400 or whatever the limit will be. Um, and it'll basically stop you from going any higher, which on most street cars or stock Hellcats is fine. Uh, but what I was running to on the dyno is that, you know, 6,000 to 6,200, the car would basically kick me off the pedal and, um, I was still building horsepower. So, um, we had to, I basically had to learn this on my own and figure this out, how to do this so that I could get a proper dyno run to see what kind of power my car was making. Okay. Kind of a, a brief explanation here of what's going on. Um, basically, you have mapping. Uh, it's situational mapping. It doesn't completely make sense, but what we have here is a count. It counts situations. Based on a specific count, it gives it a map. Based on the map, it picks aggression level and acceleration level. So, aggression zero through four, the higher the aggression level, the more spirited the shifting is, or RPMs and whatnot, uh, higher the aggression is exactly how it sounds. It's just more aggressive driving. So what we have here is we have a table. Now it says RPM in the, in the corner, um, but unlike GM and other things, this is not engine RPM. This is output shaft speed. So in order to modify this table, uh, you need to actually take this number and convert it to RPM to figure out where it's actually shifting at based on pedal uh, and gear. So each gear is a different ratio. What you need to do is take and actually times this number in the box by the gear ratio for the specific gear. So here we have all eight gears. So you take 471, let's see, take your calculator, take 1058 RPMs, you times it by a gear ratio of 4.71, and it gives you 4,983. Um, you can do that in each gear, um, and it's roughly going to be right around 5,000 to 6,000 as it goes through here all the way up. Um, and then when you get into the overdrives, it actually, the number gets smaller. And based on this, you can raise the RPM limit per gear that it shifts at. Um, you can go through and take it and select the entire table. You can times it by 5%, which C raises it up to 6,300 in your one-to-one -one gear here. So let's take the calculator here and figure out what you did to first gear. Take the calculator, one 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 times by point. I'm sorry, four point seven one, and it's at fifty two hundred RPM. So basically, we raised most of these are going to be raised between two and three hundred RPMs all the way down, uh, and you can times this by whatever you want to move the entire table, or you can go through and work it all by hand. Um, it's actually pretty simple to do once you figure out how it works. Now, shift patterns over here. You'll notice a couple of these patterns are green, which means that I've changed them. I have a compare. I have a Hellcat uh, file behind this. Um, 
and it basically showing what tables I've changed, what tables I haven't. Now, the reason I changed this was for the dyno uh, because I could not hit the RPMs that I needed to hit on the dyno. So six to seven, I have this raised to 7,300 because my car is running 7,000 RPMs on the dyno. Um, this isn't my final tune, so let me <clears throat> open my final tune here. Um, it'll be easier to look at. Let's see. Comparison. Let's open up the stock Hellcat file. Oops, wrong one. Okay. You'll see all this is changed and these other ones are changed. So aggression zero. Now, if you remember the other one um, was about 6,000 and right here, you'll see it's 6,300 because this table has been raised by about 5%. Um, and I want to say this one's raised around um, 11 or 12% um, because basically I'm running my car on the street till about 6,400 RPMs is where I run my car on the street. Um, and then I modified the shift patterns a little bit um, for the dyno, which will allow me to pull 6,900 RPMs. Um, and I'll explain this a little bit more over here. You'll notice these numbers here match the numbers that are changed here. Uh, when you put the car in manual mode, these green numbers here and here and through here um, are the shift patterns that the car uses in manual mode. So by me changing these, it allows me to put the car in manual mode, select six gear on the dyno, and I know that I can run up to these RPMs on the dyno uh, without the car kicking me off. Um, another thing is if you are gonna run your car on the dyno, you need to make sure to remove the fuses for the ABS system. Do not remove the ABS module fuse, but you need to remove the ABS fuses themselves because uh, your car will actually try to kick on the brakes on the dyno um, when it realizes that there's a massive difference in speed between the front wheels and rear wheels. Um, so that's about as far as I'm going to go on the transmission today. This is the shift scheduling. So I hope this information helps people out. Um, feel free to message me uh, if you need any more details on this or if you're confused by it.